Okay, good morning. This morning our topic is how to do group without doing group or you could say business sales without doing business sales. I am your host webinar. My name is Cheryl Bloom Garcia, the business vice president for Colorado. So why would you want to do group without doing group or B2B, business to business, um, without doing business to business? Well, everyone, everyone knows a business owner, maybe knows an HR director or someone in their family knows an HR director. You know a benefit specialist you've seen or know a business to business sales professional. So why would you want a field trainer helping you? Because number one, you're going to get performance club points. Number two, it's going to generate revenue and income for you and your family. So let's look at first the performance club. So to be in performance club, we know that we need five points per month to do that. And to get your bonus, you need to do that for 12 consecutive months to receive your bonus. Now, if you take the bonus money or the cash, you can do cash, which would be 300 or you can get $500 for the BMW. Um, now, remember that for that right there, for the cash or the car, it's five points per month. And then it also makes you eligible for trips. Now make sure that you're signed up for Legal Shield Advantage so that you are eligible for all the bonuses, the cars, and the trips. So let's look at a point system. So with the doing B2B sales without doing B2B sales, you are going to receive half of the commissions. So if you look at doing a group, you'll get 50%, and I'll show you an example of that. Uh, if you have somebody do a small business plan for you, then it's 0.5. So one means, if, like if I just went and sold a business 10, I would get one performance club point. But if I have a field trainer helping me or doing it for me, then I'm going to get half of that because we're splitting it. Same thing for a small biz 50. If I individually sold that, I would get two performance club points because I'm learning why I'm earning or I'm having someone do this for me, I'm going to get one point. And then each employee's social security number is one point for performance club. So we're all, we're focused right now on the business to business sales and those are the business to business sales. All right, so let's look at an example of revenue. So we're going to use um, $33.90 per month for this. Um, that is when they get the family legal and the family ID shield. Okay, so that's their premium. That is going to be their benefit cost to the employee. 50-50 shared, okay, so if you're an associate, your commission on that, your one-year advance commission is $84.96 per employee for the first six. Then you get advanced to a senior associate where it's $101.95 per employee for your one-year advance commission. Once you hit 15, you're a manager, it's at 118, senior manager 135, director 161, senior director 195, and then as an executive director is 237. So the last two, a senior director and executive director, those are bonus positions that you must um, acquire every month. So we're going to use as our example a senior associate because my belief is that when you first start, uh, you need to really focus on your warm market for individual plans. That would be your first six because that's going to help you learn the service and it's going to help you with your trainer 
Now, a field trainer works on the business-to-business -business side, but you also have your trainer, your leadership, um, your whole organization that helps you on the individual memberships and also helps you in creating your agency or your team or your organization. So let's look at, here's an employer for, that has 30 employees. Okay, so we know that when we get in front of the employees and we have an opportunity to educate the employees about their benefit, we know that we're going to get 50% of that enrollment. Now, for number purposes, I went one over to make it easy, the math easier. Um, so we're going to have 16 employees enroll with the Family Legal and the Family ID Shield. So you're going to receive eight applications, that's your half. As a senior associate, your one-year advance commission is $101.95 times eight, ka -ching, you just made $815.60. Um, and you just got eight points for Performance Club. Congratulations. All right, so that's an example of Money. Now let's look at one for a small business plan. What I find is that most small businesses are buying the Biz 50 uh, because of the trial defense services and they have more users. So that's $89 a month for your points. Remember it's two points if you do it yourself. <clears throat> one point if we're doing the uh, commission split form. So your field trainer will know how to do this. It's a one page, it's a very simple commission split form that they can fill out. So again, here are the numbers that you have. The first numbers are if you sold it yourself. So as a senior associate, it's $205.25. So if you go with a field trainer and they do that, sale and teach you how to do the small business plan is $102.63 and one performance club point. We find that um, most of what we're doing right now in our field trainer are the employee benefits, but we can also do the small business plan for that too. So let your field trainer team handle all the appointments, the presentation, the supplies, the processing while you get part of the money. Okay, so, um, you know, we could always, we being the field trainers and the business to business specialists, we can always call people out of the blue um, and say that you referred us. But what we found is what has more power and gets us more results is that you have warm relationships. So you would be the first person to contact to introduce the field trainer we'll be calling. Now, there's a couple ways that you can do that, and I'll give you some examples. One is that if you're working with the field trainer and they say here, like I just sent somebody um, yesterday my schedule that I'm available uh, for next week. Okay, so they know that person. They are going to call them and set up that appointment for me. Um, another person that I chatted with on Tuesday night said, well, I don't really know your schedule. And I said, that's fine. You know, I can send you what I'm available or you can call your person. Let them know I'm going to be calling. So it's so important that it is a warm relationship. And here's an example. Another person, another associate said, I work at a school and I can't really go to the HR person and do that. Okay, that's not really a warm relationship. Does that make sense? Because just because she works there, that's not getting you to the decision maker that's going to get you to an enrollment. On the other hand, another associate came to me and said, you know, I know the owner and the HR person um, of an assisted living facility. Great. She actually went and met with them uh, with a different field trainer than me, and then I'm going to do the enrollment next week. So that is a warm connection. That is a warm relationship. Now, do you always have to go with 
The field trainer, no, you do not. What's key here is that you have the relationship to get us the appointment and to get us to the enrollment. Now, once we get to the decision maker, that is our job then to get the enrollment. Your job is to get us to the right person, to the decision maker because of your relationship. Okay, so here's the steps. Number one is Sit down and make your list. Even though you may have been in the business for two weeks or two years or 20 years, it doesn't really matter. It's always good to sit down and just kind of jot down your list. Now, your field trainer will go through the making your list. I'll show you that exercise next. Now, you're going to call with the introduction. Then you'll email that information to your field trainer. The field trainer will make the appointment, or you're going to do that in your call. The field trainer meets with the decision maker. The field trainer does the enrollment, and it's a 50-50 split. Now, if you're not B2B certified, then the servicing agent will be, or the field trainer will be the servicing agent on that group. So I would really recommend that you go to the B2B certification class, and I'm not saying that you have to do that or be a specialist in that, but you're going to learn so much more about the product because if you're building an agency or an organization, you may want to be finding people that are going to be doing this for you, that are going to be going into your contacts for you. I had another executive director talk to me last Friday that said, I know a lot of CEOs, but I don't have anybody on my team that is doing B2B. And he said, I'm leaving money on the table. Yes, you are. You're leaving money on the table. So I said, let's start working with your warm contacts into companies. And then as I'm doing that, you need to be looking for your intentions are to be looking for a person that I can train to keep doing your contacts that you have. It just makes sense to do that. So he said, yeah, I think I need to take that class. I said, yes. Okay, there's eight hours of prerequisites which are online and then one day of class with Mindy Rogers. Okay, so Number one, you're going to know what's required of that person that you're recruiting. And then number two, as you refer those warm contacts to your field trainer, you will be uh, what's called the servicing agent. And the first group that you have that is um, signed up, you'll get a $150 bonus for that. And then there's additional bonuses as you increase your group numbers that you're opening, that you're starting. So there's another bonus program that's associated with that. Okay, so here's your Colorado B2B team. It's myself, Mindy, Ray, Doris. Oh, I got Mindy on there twice. Mindy, Mindy. Um, Chris, Susan Alley. Oh, you can't see Nancy's last name. Nancy Blackwood and Anna Brooks. All right, so here's our expectations is that we want you to focus on companies that have 10 to 50 employees. There is an associate right now, and I love him to death, and he just will not work for 10 to 50. He will not focus on that company. Okay, so he keeps bumping into, uh, you know, these large companies. And will you eventually get a big fish? Yes, you will. But the key here is that we need to pay our mortgage. We need to pay our car payments. We need to make some money. And the best way to do that is to focus on companies that have 10 to 50 employees because you can get into the decision maker. The decision maker can say, yes, come and talk to my people. Like yesterday, I talked to this woman and she said, you can come every Tuesday morning. We have our warehouse meeting at 8.30 a.m. And so next Tuesday, I'll be out of town. So I said, how about August 30th? And she said, yeah, okay, 830. Okay, how many employees? 30 employees. Okay, I'm going to bring some breakfast burritos, and I need 15 minutes. She said, great. Okay, right to the decision maker. That was yesterday. Within two weeks, I have an enrollment. 
Okay, so that's when you work with 10 to 50 employees, you can get in once you meet with the decision maker and get that set up. Then the second one is working with 50 to 100 employees. Remember, 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 the referral is from your warm market. Um, so it can't be, well, I kind of know this person, I work at this place, I went online, I think this would be a good company, you know. Um, no, you know the person. I'll show you the script when we get to that. Okay, so then the contact will be expecting the call. So you've made that introduction. And remember, the sales process can be long. And so, you know, I know that's frustrating because when we go to meet individually with somebody and we spend 30 minutes with them, they usually make a decision eh, most of the time, right? But sometimes the sales process can be a little bit longer than you think. Now, the larger the organization, the longer the sales process is. So remember, that's why, again, we go with 10 to 50 employees. After the enrollment, the field trainer will keep track of other applications coming in, or we can set up, uh, once again, the commission split so that the corporate office will do that automatically. Now, when I have a small group of 10, 12, 15, I'm just going to do it. Here, you get one, I get one. You get one, I get one. When we get to maybe 20 or more employees, it's easier just to do the commission split form. Definitely when I'm working with companies that have over 50 employees, I will do the commission split form with that person. It just makes it so much easier because corporate does all of that. So sometimes you see 0.5 on your points um, for that. So you can do that. Get with your field trainer and figure out which, which is best. Now, this I just want you to be aware of because sometimes people don't know this, that there are specific industries that Legal Shield feels are, and they are because they have the experience, right, of over 40 years, that they have high turnover. And we want to focus on companies that do not have high turnover. So they have put this list together that these are industries that are what's called paid as earned. So when we looked at the uh, 101, the $101, that was your one-year advance commission. So now it's uh, 101 divided by 12, basically. So now you're getting, and for math purposes, I'm going to say $12. You get $12 per month. So you have 10 employees. You were expecting $1,000 for that payout, but it's in the, one of these categories. It's $100 payout that month. Again, you are expecting to do your car payment, you know, your uh, mortgage, and whoops, you don't have enough. So let's be aware of those industries that are paid as earned. So healthcare, liquor stores, beauty shops, public and private clubs, casinos, resorts, care programs, auto that have less than 10 employees, and food service employees, including management on that one, okay? So these would not be the first target that we would want to start with our industry. All right, so making your list, get with your leadership, get with your field trainer, and develop your contact map. So basically in the middle you put you, and then you have six circles out from you, friends, family, community, hobbies, employment, and social. So we want you to start thinking beyond well, you know, I only know this person. No, that person, you know that one person, they know 200 people. And then those 200 people know 200 people. And really, you know 200 people. So if you look at your cell phone and you just go to your contacts and you start scrolling through that, you go, wow, I do know a lot of people. Or you go to your friends on Facebook and you, you know, you just go to the friends. Sometimes I'll just go look at who's, who am I connected with on Facebook? Who am I connected with on LinkedIn? And I'll just kind of go through that and go, oh, yeah, I forgot about that person. And that helps me, again, build my list for that. And then make sure that you transfer your name to the list. So what I do is I have a separate list for my, my companies, and I have a separate list for my individual, like, my, you know, because I'm not going to turn away an individual sale, and I will get those 
referrals from employees in a group, I'll get those referrals from the chamber, right, that we get different referrals from that. Okay, so here's an example of a script. And you can, you know, customize this to you. You may not want to say my good friend. You may want to say my colleague. The person that you're calling will probably know because you've already talked to them about Legal Shield. Um, is that, you know, this is a colleague that specializes in employee benefits. And so, you know, please meet with my good friend. Please meet with my colleague. Uh, do not use the word upline. Okay, <laughs> that language is not in the business to business uh, world. Okay, upline is not, they don't know what that means. I never knew what that meant for several years when I was even in Legal Shield. Um, so, you know, we don't want to use that jargon. Okay, so um, in business partner, that's kind of not really uh, that really is not a, a word either. You could say my field trainer my trainer um, okay so please meet with my trainer I have so I I'm a satisfied customer tell your story you you got your will done you have um, saved money you have peace of mind because of identity theft now you're not going to go into why uh, I have identity theft because it does all this monitoring, it has restoration with Kroll, and you're not going to do all that. You're just going to tell a very quick story for that. Now, my friend, my colleague told me that she offers this plan as an employee benefit, and they do a lot of companies like yours. When she asked me if I knew of anybody that cared about their employees, I immediately thought about you. Now, this next phrase, you've got to hear about this plan. I, I don't really say that. Uh, so once again, what is your language? This is kind of an outline, a bullet for you to kind of stay on task. But, you know, is that really your language? That's not my language. I, I don't say you've got to hear about this or, you know, our company's on fire. You know, I don't ever say things like that in the business to business environment okay and there's no cost to your company now that that is a good statement and actually that should be look, uh, tweaked a little bit there's no out of pocket there's no out of pocket contributions there's no out of pocket costs to your company so i need to tweak that a little bit cuz no cost uh, well there is a cost because we need to see their employees and that's 20 minutes out of non production uh, that they're going to be doing that. So you and your employees will love it. Maybe they already signed up with you um, for that. So out of respect for me, or it would mean a lot for me, um, or you could say as part of my training program, I need to have five people in the next week meet with me and my field trainer. So depending on if you're handing this off to a field trainer, then it would be out of respect for me, or would you, it would mean a lot for me Okay, you could, that's what you say. If you're going to be field trained, then you say, I need to do five, uh, with my trainer, I need to meet with five companies in the next week. Would you help me out? Okay, so then the last part is her name is, and I'm going to give her your name and phone number and email. She will be calling you. Thanks, have a great day. Okay, what's the next step? Now you're going to email your field trainer. And in that email, you need to give them this information. What is their name? What is their phone number? What's their email? How many employees? What's the website? How do you know them? How do you know them? And then what's the response from the call? Like what is the expectation? So when I'm making that phone call, I have a good picture of what is going to happen and what I need to do to move them to the enrollment. So these are the things that I need to know for that. Enjoy. Yay. Okay. And now you can enjoy your commissions. You can enjoy your performance club points. You can enjoy learning about the business to business environment 